everyone, I'm Suzanne Eaglin, and I'm here with my beautiful friend, Connie Bibbins, and you're watching All Things Hallmark. Okay, everyone, what we want you to do right now, like, share, and subscribe. Be a subscriber so that you don't miss one of these great Hallmark videos. So, Connie, how you doing? What's been going on? Ooh, girl, it's Friday. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm just glad it's Friday. I've been just in the house cleaning, actually. I thought I was going to get up and put my feet up somewhere, but then I thought, let me get this done because my grandbaby is on the way. Oh, uh, the one that was just born recently? Yeah, she's coming over to play with grandma. Oh, that's cool. Hey, I love that beautiful sign that talks about family. That's what it's all about. So you're going to have a weekend of family. That's it. That's good. That's really good. So you look, you look like you're where you were last week, because um, I think I can hear some of those birds chirping again. You look like you have some beautiful weather. You will hear the birds. This, what is different from even just one week, is that this tree has completely blossomed, and all these white flowers are on it. And chances are, within a week or two, it'll be all green. Absolutely. Hey, well, we'll just enjoy it while we can. How about that? Absolutely. Absolutely. I love looking at the beauty. I love feeling the sun. You guys know I'm an outdoor girl. I enjoy being outside and just enjoying nature, the clouds, the rain, you name it. I'm a nature girl. I love to enjoy that type of thing. <laughs> yeah, you went on a, a ride last week, I think it was, and you were telling me about all the different things that you were seeing and that you were in awe of. So yeah, I think yeah. we figured that out. Out, out. Outdoor girl for sure. <laughs> yes. As a matter of fact, what I plan on doing, it rained. It rained a lot for the last two days. But when the ground gets dry, if it's available, I want to lay down in one of those fields of just open flowers blooming. So look for that video. It'll be on all um, Living Victoriously After video channel. I definitely want to just lay and run in the field of grass and the pretty greenery and the, the sunflowers, all of that stuff. I want to do it all. All of that, all of that. <laughs> right now, let's get into this great movie. So the name of this movie is Flip That Romance. <laughs> Look, right after the, uh, the show, Flip That House. <laughs> yes, because that's what it's about. So we have um, Jules is the female, Lance is the male, and they have a love interest. Now, Jules is a floral designer, but she yeah. has been dabbling in doing flipping houses and doing construction so that's something i think she's been with her family business like her mom has the business but that's not really where her heart is and so immediately off the bat i want to say huge life lesson just because you've been working in the family business doesn't mean that it's what you're called to do sharon <laughs> i just want to throw a name out nobody else know it but sharon when you see it you want to know i'm talking about you Sometimes family businesses are great and you still can go and do some work and help out and do your part, but you still got to follow your dream. You still got to do what makes you happy, what you're created to do. What about you? What did, what did you think about her changing fields? Well, you know, both of them were achieving to do better, striving to do better. Um, and so, or, and not even better, because that gives an indication that maybe that wasn't good enough, but they were just trying to place their own mark on the world, you know? And so, um, yeah, big lesson that it, that may be your beginning, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be your end. So never stop trying to achieve more and to reach that dream that you're looking for. So yeah, that was to me, I'm like you very first life lesson, uh, you know, uh, major point in the movie. Because, you know, you and I both have children. And I definitely am trying to, um, one of these days, I want to leave my family a legacy and leave them family business. But I still want my son and his children and his children's children to find out what in the company they really love to do so that yeah. they can still be following after their dreams. Absolutely. Absolutely. And to me, that's just so important. I definitely, Suzanne, you know, my whole life is about leaving a mark on the earth through encouraging, empowering, equipping, and educating women to pursue their dreams and visions. And that's what we do. 
with encouraging the heart woman to woman ministries and with activate your life coaching. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm really big on that. And the thing about it in the movie is the fact that the, um, her Jules's mother and Lance's father were both very supportive of each of them following their dreams. That is so true. Very, very supportive. So let's talk about Lance. So Lance is this contractor. They both lived in that area. I have the impression that they grew up together. They became a love interest. And then they tried to collaborate and flip a different property. And it didn't have the results that Lance specifically wanted. He felt discouraged. He was going through a lot of stuff in his life. Like, talk about what he looked one of the things that he was going through that made it like, it's just easier to walk away because Lance ends up just picking up and he just moves away. What did you think about that? Well, you know, he wanted that house that they flipped together to be just right for her. He wanted the, it to work for her because, you know, she's trying to make a name in this industry. Um, his father already has a name in the industry. So technically Lance already has a, uh, uh, name in the industry, but he really wanted that to work for Jules and it didn't. And so he felt really bad. And I think Suzanne, to be honest with you, I think he kind of went overboard because he had just recently lost his mom as well. So he was dealing with the grief of losing his mother and now the disappointment of not, you know, being the shining armor for his girl. Yeah. So he kind of packed it up and, and left. And the funny part about it, which is funny, I'm using that word facetiously, but all that time she thought, Jules thought that Lance blamed her for them not winning. That's true. That is so true. And that goes back to misunderstandings, not understanding, not sticking around to do the, do the work to understand what each other are going through or how each other is feeling and just looking at something and, and just reading it the wrong way. That's what I'm trying to say. Just reading it the wrong way. Because communication is key. We say it every week when we come out here. Communication is key. One of the things that Hallmark really does do a good job in writing into every one of their movies is the fact that people who are, um, if you're a couple, if you're trying to be a couple, if however your relationship is, that uh, communication is key. What It doesn't matter what type of relationship it is, communication is key. And that's one of the principles I think that Hallmark has in every one of their movies. I agree. I definitely agree. I'm and loving so, the words. <laughs> so, and so basically, so you have this couple who decide to be rivals. They, he comes to town and he is bidding on, it's a duplex. So he's bids on, he wants the whole thing, but it didn't work out that way. So she gets half of the duplex. He gets the other half. And they're in competition. Now it's going to be on television. It's going to be like a real reality show. And they're being competitive towards one another. And I thought all of that was very interesting because here they are working. They have options. Yeah. Are they work together? Are they going to be polite? How are they going to respond to one another? I thought those were some really good lessons as well. The choices. Yeah. You know, it, it's funny, again, how they, um, they end up at the uh, auction together. And they're actually bidding on the same part of the duplex, both of them. And uh, the funny part being he drives the price up but she ends up getting it. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so, but the thing about this competition that it's no longer just a friendly competition between the two of them because remember they kind of did a little competition between the two of them all of a sudden, this is now really going to make whoever wins this uh, challenge is really going to make it because they're going to be on the front of a, uh, the cover of the magazine. They're going to get the magazine spread, all of that. And so, yeah, now it's not just about me beating you, but it's really about me beating you and proving myself in the industry. So, yeah, it, it, that was big. And I just like the way... You know, we don't like to give the movie away, but I do like the way that, you know, there were different challenges that came up with them both doing what they needed to do to make sure that their side of the duplex, um, there really wouldn't have been a competition had he gotten both sides, but for whatever reason, he purchased one side. And then when the other side became available, he went after it too and didn't get it. But 
during this whole competition thing, you know, I just thought it was great how despite their past, okay, despite their past, they came together and was were working on this. And when things began to happen, that would cause her really to lose the competition without even being able to get in it really good. Um, he stopped what he was doing to help her. And so I thought that was pretty big, you know, forgetting your past, forgetting whatever happened in the past. Um, you went live today on Facebook talking about forgiveness. Definitely, uh, you can see some examples of forgiveness here because they were able to push past their past and help one another. Yeah, that is so true. Forgiveness, one, very, very powerful. You got to forgive yourself and forgive others. And recognize that people make human mistakes. They do things accidentally, not on purpose always. And so you just got to be quick to forgive. And so that was definitely that element that they had to... I, I loved his vulnerability. At some point, Lance was 100% ready to own everything, take responsibility for everything. And he was vulnerable again to her and explained himself, which a lot of times we wait too long to explain. Yeah. When, you're, when you care for somebody, it's okay to be truthful and you know, show them you know, your honesty, your vulnerability, and trust that you're gonna be okay. Trust yeah. that you're gonna be fine if you do that with somebody that you care for. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, um, further along in the movie, again, you see um, where they have to trust one another, you know, believe the other person. And the unfortunate part is it didn't seem like she uh, believed what he said had happened or whatever the case is. And so there comes a time when he needs help and she's just looking. <laughs> she realizes now his his ability to win is now at risk and it took her a minute to pull herself together as a matter of fact you know she had to hear a few things that reminded her that he was a stand-up guy um because before she did she before she was reminded that he was a stand-up guy though she saw that he was threatening disqualification she was just talking about it. She didn't do anything. So I was a little pulled back by that. I mean, great movie, but I'm saying it myself as an individual, as a person, how do you do that? This person put everything on the line to help you when you needed it. Now it's your, you see that he needs help and you're, you're hesitant. And again, not until you hear some things that reminded you that he was a stand up guy, did you step forward? Well, I will say that part irritated me. I was, I was in that movie deep. Because I, I, it just was wrong. I thought, wow, here's this person who's already, up until this point, was friendly, was helpful to you, was cheering you on, reminding you of your abilities and your strength. And I don't know, was it the competition that made her think, is this my opportunity to win? But, but there was a misunderstanding. Remember the misunderstanding? Which was her fault. It, and that's what happened. It was her fault. She was supposed to um, verify something without giving the movie away. She was supposed to verify something and make sure that it was organized and done right. And because she didn't take the time to confirm something, to do the, the work, which is a lesson, don't skip. Don't skip corners. Take time. Do the lessons. Do all that you're supposed to do so you can be a success. And so then they come back and it's a mistake. And she owns it. This was her mistake. But it was a mistake that cost them time and it cost them resources. And then the misunderstanding was he found a way not to charge her, but to, you know, to really bring something great out of the whole situation. And he made a sacrifice. And instead of her recognizing, hey, he's taking care of it, wow, that's nice of him. She was so she was so focused on, well, we had an agreement that we would talk about everything but he was just trying to make up for the, the mistake he made the first time. And he was just really, to me, he made a sacrifice. He went out of his way to do something and she was rushed to judge, which caused her to hinder, to realize, oh, he's only, he's only behind because he was helping me. He's only behind because of something else that was going on. I just, I wanted to cheer him on. I wanted to say, no, don't do that to Lance. Lance is a good guy, what are you doing? Stop, go back, go back for Lance. 
Because <laughs> he, he was, if this was a scary movie, Lance was the guy who stopped and ran back to make sure that she was safe. Come on, girl, you can keep going. And so I just wanted her to do the same thing. Come on. It's all good. Yeah, yeah, we're in this together. But you know, the, the funny part about it is they really, it, there really wasn't even an agreement. There was an understanding that she didn't feel like that was right because that was kind of what kind of threw them into where they were um, in the relationship the last time because he was doing being a typical man because men have a tendency, they want to save us, you know? Don't you man they, bash, don't you man bash. Yeah, but I'm not, I'm not man bashing. I, I, when I tell y'all, now listen, I'm going up close on this one. When I tell you, I am the one. Pay my, my bills, pull out my chair, pay for my food, all of that. Honey, in this 38-year marriage, ain't none of that. Half of the bills belong to me and half belong to him. I have no problem for, with my knight in shining armor taking care of me. Now, does my money go into the joint account? Yes, it does, honey. But he gets to write that check whenever he wants to. I'm just saying, honey. So, no, I'm not man bashing. I'm all for Lance coming up with the idea that's going to save both of them, that's going to help both of them. He had something invested in this, you know? And so for, for her to get all upset about it, you know, I'm like, girl, please. That, first of all, it ain't just yours. And number two, come on, the man was just trying to help, you know? And even if you don't like the way he did it, let's say thank you and let's talk about it later. I'm just saying. So, no, I'm not man bashing. I'm, I'm all for it. Because one of the things that she did was she began to, to me, if I was to analyze it, she, in her head, had made them an official couple. And in her head, they had a whole bunch of arrangements and agreements probably based off of the other ones from years past. Instead um, of having new, you know, recognizing the growth, having new understandings, new boundaries, new borders, they had not, to me, unless I missed it, officially became a couple. But when she came back and she was mean to him, or you know, kind of chastised him, she did that based off of an old relationship. This is a new person, and so she went hard and too harsh on him. And we, as people, men and women, in whatever relationship you're in, it could be a mother and a child. People grow every day. That's Give right. them an opportunity for you to see their growth. Don't just jump down on them and I am preaching to myself. I'm a mom and I make those mistakes. But sometimes you gotta be like, okay, today's a new day and you might have done that two weeks ago, but today's a different day. We got new understandings now. Hey, hey, Suzanne, it made me think of that old song. Starting all over again, it's gonna be rough. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes after you've been through whatever you've been through, starting all over again is a, is a challenge. But can I tell you one of the things, and I, I, for those who don't like it about Hallmark, I love it about Hallmark, we always got that happy ending. And so if when you start all over again, if you do the work, if you stay in it, if you give everybody an opportunity, if you're open in your communication, all of that, you forget about the past, all of that. Um, and when I say forget about the past, Suzanne, let me just make sure I'm clear. I'm not saying forget about the past. I'm saying learn from the past is more of what I'm saying. We learn from it, not hit each other over the head, but learn from the past and bring what you learned from the past into the relationship, but don't bring the past into the relationship. And so, yeah, and, and credit to Walmart, you can say what you want to say, but I like the happy ever after endings. Listen, you said everything that we needed to say. And the, the biggest lesson was don't bring the past into the past, even if the past was a week ago. It will sustain your relationship. It will make your relationships with all people better. So that really wraps up this particular review. Can't wait to do it again. Again, I want to remind everybody, subscribe and like the video and share it with other people. We appreciate your feedback. Please leave comments. We are thankful that you have brought our, us into your home again. Again, I'm Suzanne Eaglin, and my website I'd like you to go check out is www.livingvictoriouslyafterdivorce or Living Victoriously After. I got a brand new best-selling book about how to get through a painful divorce and be a success and be victorious on the other side. And then my good friend Connie on it over here, tell us about your business, Connie. Again, you can find me on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash activate your life coaching. It's where we are making a difference in the lives of women 
uh, encouraging them to pursue their dreams and visions. And so we um, host masterminds weekly, book studies, one-on-one -on -one coaching, everything you need to become your best self. And so I'm definitely excited about it. So again, that's Activate Your Life Coaching. Uh, go out there and see me, say something to me, say hi, stop by. <laughs> All right. So again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All things Hallmark. We thank you for your time. We appreciate you. See you next week to do this again. Connie girl, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. All right.